Hello, and welcome to Light Waves by Dodderbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Bollet SL1000. This is a Type-C rechargeable, solar-powered, collapsible lantern. You can find these retailing on Amazon between $25 to $27, minus a coupon. I got mine for just under $25, so not bad. I was looking for a solar-powered lantern. Uh, I had reviewed a collapsible lantern in the past, and I thought this was smaller. <laughs> then when I got this box, I thought, wow, did I get a three-pack? No, it, there's one, but it's a larger lantern. It's really cool. I'm really excited about this. So here's a picture. You got three colors, orange, green, gray. I got a green one. Looks good. Three modes, long run time, 100 lumens, collapsible, waterproof, which we'll talk about, solar, Type-C rechargeable. So looking at this, uh, there you go, I got the UPC code. Over here we got their website and email address. And over here we got some information about the lantern, IP65 waterproof, yeah, pretty surprised by that. And I think that's it, light up your outdoor life, and the bottom is white, so... Yep, I got two of them, so I'm going to put this one aside and show you what came in the box. So what do we get in the box? We get a cable. Hey, hey. haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to provide you a USB to Type-C cable to charge your lantern. Next, they give you a green anodized carabiner, probably orange and probably black for the ones with different colors, I'm guessing. So I got the green one for the green lantern. <laughs> green lantern. Anyway, pretty cool. Uh, next, we got some paperwork. Pretty simple. Just a couple little cards. Warranty card. Uh, all right. I'm not sure how long it is. But there you go. It just talks about there. If you're not happy, talk to them. Uh, next, user manual. I saw 1000. It's pretty basic. It's two page. Specifications. There you go. Uh, if I miss something, it's all right there. I got the weight, dimensions. Of course, I'm going to go over some of that. Solar charging, Type-C charging. So yeah, solar charging, 12 hours, not bad. Type-C charging, three hours. Okay, there you are. And of course it goes over this. Built-in protection. So yeah, pretty neat. And of course what's inside. All right, so that's done with that. Let's get to the light. So here it is. Yeah, this is a really cool. <laughs> I like the color, it's awesome. Looks good in the red background. Let me bring this up a little bit. All right, so let's go over dimensions of this bad boy. Yeah, I did not think it was going to be this big, but I'm pretty happy it is. Uh, it has a really nice diffuse light source. We're going to get to see that today. Uh, so let's uh, give you dimensions. So we have a diameter, including these little end rivets here that hold the hanging strap on uh, of five and three quarter inches. And then for depth, we have when it's closed, one and three quarter inches. And when it's fully opened, it's five inches tall. So that's pretty nice. Uh, so let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll do a little size comparison. Uh, it does weigh 7 ounces or 200 grams, as you saw there. Um, so it's pretty lightweight. I like it. It doesn't use a heavy battery pack. So it relies really on that solar panel to charge it. So let's see. What do I have? Size comparison. This is funny. <laughs> a little Thor Fire. This is one of my first lights I've ever used on my channel. And uh, yeah, because I do portable lighting with my portable radios. And I thought this would be kind of a cool one to get because it had a lot of reviews. The Thor Fire. It's a dynamo powered doohick hockey puck style. And I thought that's I thought this was gonna be. <laughs> so big difference. Uh, so I'm pleasantly surprised. But there you go. For size comparison, the Thor Fire versus the SL1000. The SL1000 reminds me of like Mercedes. <laughs> it's got a cool name, you know, model number. Alright, so what else we got here? Again? Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He likes eco-friendly products, man. He's the Iron Man, looking for a solar-powered suit, man. <laughs> you get it. Okay, the card's done. All right, so features of this lantern. Okay, let's go over it. So we got this flexible handle. It's kind of like a foam. Got their name on there, light up your outdoor life. Nice. Um, it's like a neoprene, maybe something you'd see like on a life vest or something. It's, it's kind of interesting. I like that. Uh, right away we've got a prominent solar panel here. Uh, three by three. Keeps it charged. Um, it is pretty awesome. Uh, loving that. Now it says it'll charge the battery for 12 in 12 hours in direct sunlight. 
Not bad if you're camping. Um, you don't probably have to hook up a power source at all. But if you do, I uh, recommend something like this, like a little mini uh, backup power bank. This is like a, a 10,000 milliamp hour. This will charge this light about six times. It'll get you through a whole week, I imagine. No problem at all if you're not using this for anything else. So just pack one of these with it and you're good to go. You can get these for like six, seven bucks when they're on sale. So yeah, um, and you can just use the cable and bundle it together and off you go. But yeah, I thought I'd show that to you. Good idea. So yeah, I like that solar panel. I uh, get this really cool ABS plastics. It's like a well-made. Uh, it's a green color here with the ABS. I said ABS. <laughs> Same as the bottom. And then down here, what's it say? Is it made in China? Yeah, it does. Okay. So it's got some little markings, but it's got the dome lens here. I really like that. They say it's flashlight mode, but it's definitely like a dome light. Uh, it's really nice as a dome. I'm um, enjoying that. Uh, also here, and I got a power switch I'll show you in a second. Um, what else does it say here? SL1000, collapsible light. We got four LEDs that light up uh, when it's on, give you an idea of the battery status. This is a 1000 milliamp hour battery in here. So it's not a super high capacity. I thought it would be a little higher, but it's okay. I'm happy with that because it's just enough light for an evening and that's fine. Uh, over here, we got our type C port. Now, if you look, it looks like it's open and it is. There's no rubber jacket. Now, I was reading up on that and they say, it's waterproof so this must have like an anti-short circuit prevention if it gets wet so that can handle uh, a jet of water it's ip65 rated uh, that's very interesting and he said yeah don't need a, a jacket or any kind of plug for it it's waterproof so i haven't tested that but uh i say it'd probably be okay uh, like i say they probably got some kind of short circuit prevention and of course the light switch this is very interesting so let's show you how to turn it on um so i was hitting it like trying to figure out how to do it and a little Blue lights go on. I'm like, okay, what's going on? It's not going on. What's happening? So it's not a press switch. It's a hold, like an induction switch. So it'll work when you're out summer camping. Tap it again. Change mode. Goes to low. And of course, I'll show you when it's open. And then you get SOS mode. And the blue you're seeing is from the status LEDs. I noticed. And I'll tap that to turn it off. So it, like I say, it works on induction. So you probably got to have bare hands. You can't use a glove to turn it on. If that's a big deal to you, then you might want to find something else. But yeah, press and hold. Turns it on. Okay, so you get the idea. The dome is really nice. I do like the dome effect here. And we'll we'll demo that in the dark. But let's go ahead and open this thing up. So it's got some rare earth magnets that hold it. So it's fairly tight. And it's going to make some noise here as we open it up. Now they say it's polypropylene. Yeah, it's kind of muscle it open. <laughs> I think they're fully extended. There we go. So let's see if I can get that on camera. So that's five inches fully extended. Let's see if I can just pop it up like that. That might be the way to go. Let me just bring this up a little higher. There we are. So yeah, um, big lantern. <laughs> um, and then yeah, it's got a really nice diffuser. And if you look, it looks like better material. Oh, I turned it on by accident. Nice, nice. Yes, that's that induction switch. Um, it's a little different, but I don't mind it. Um, again, lightweight, but the diffuser is really nice. Um, if we set this here, turn it on, press hold. It's got a really nice light source. Um, and that polypropylene is nice too. Let me see if I get this little fire open. This little guy. They kind of show them side by side. And the plastics on this look a little weak, like they might break. And they actually have a comparison. Uh, so the material on this uh, collapsible lantern is much nicer, uh, much thicker designed than this. This looks really thin, like this could crack and break over time, opening and closing. This is going to handle opening and closing quite a bit. So I uh, thought I'd share that with you. All right. So also, um, yeah, the magnets are right here. I believe there's a spot for four of them, but they only use two. One on each side, and then they leave these two spots open. Okay. It's got, uh, I forget how many LEDs. It's got a few LEDs in here. Um, I don't remember. There, it's like a like a cool white, but I do like the, the way this looks. We're gonna go to the garage here and show you this in action. But uh, yeah, I do like this dome effect, and we're gonna get to see that too. And you see just how much this puts out. Um, so yeah, we got tw it's, there's 12 uh, LEDs in there too, and we'll show that to you. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna set this off to the side here and get ready for a demo. And let's go to the garage and check out this thing in action. So here I am in the garage. I am on a corner, all the way in the back corner. 
I hung the lantern from the garage door opener right in the middle of the garage, and it's on high. This is 100 lumens. They say it'll run about four hours. It's decent illumination, but you'll probably find yourself not using this mode because this next mode, low, is 60 lumens and will run almost double the time for seven hours. This is the one you're probably going to use the most. It lit the room up nicely. This two-car garage, not a problem. I could see and get around without an issue. Now I collapsed the lantern, and it's in dome mode. Uh, so it uh, looks like it's putting out a little less light, but it's more directed downwards. So we're at high in 100 lumens. And this last picture here, it's on low in the dome mode. Again, 60 lumens for 7 hours. Let's go back to the table. Yeah, so this SL1000, I'm digging it. I really am. I know there's a lot of lanterns out there that... Uh, some nice ones like the Siege and stuff. And there's a lot of competition. And this is just unique enough that it, it might stand out to somebody as, as a gift or something they might want to take camping with them just because it's lightweight and well-made. So that definitely gave me final thoughts already. But let's go ahead. I would use a demo. I'd probably just like bring my portable radio with me. There we go. So we're going to demo with the portable radio just to show you how it lights up the radio. If you're out at night and you want to tune your radio, see the buttons you'll be able to with your lantern. And we'll do overhead and give you an idea. So I'm going to turn off some of these lights first. Let's turn this on. Turn it on medium. Okay. Our lights here. Go in the darkness. All right. Not bad at all. See, I really like the shade color. It looks really good on the camera, and it looks good in person. It's about the same, so it's color rendering nicely. Uh, there we go. And you can see it's lighting up the table. If I pick this up, let's see. We'll go to high. So the SOS mode, which I don't know if it'll use too much. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that back on. There's high, so I'll lift this up. And it's about uh, two feet off the table. And it's pretty much lighting up like more of an area because it's 360. Um, so if I go edgewise, it'll of course light up better to the table versus, you know, shadowing it. Now let's uh, go ahead and change the modes. Go low. There's our low mode, 60 lumens. Just enough to light up maybe like a dinner plate, uh, just nice ambient light, like say a two-person tent, so would be nice. And of course, uh, let's go to dome mode. So what we'll do is we will collapse the lantern, making some noise. <laughs> so this is nice. This is what I'll be using the most. In a tent, this is perfect. Um, so you'll, you'll have your overhead lighting. Okay, this is about, I would say, four feet off the table. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and just the light power here. Okay, we'll go to high. 100 lumens. Yeah, 100 lumens is probably what you'll use uh, when you're trying to set something up. But if you just need a little bit of mood lighting, just go down to 60. And this is just enough. This is all you need. So there it is. Yeah, pretty simple demo. Um, liking that. You really can't. Oh, there you can you see the 12 LEDs there. Angle it right. Not bad. All right, so let's go ahead and that back down, do some final thoughts on this little bad boy. Here, status lights. All right, let's see, if see the switches for the lights here. Okay. Here it is, the SL1000. Okay, so there's my Texan Radio. Love it, PL330. Cool thing about this is it's also rechargeable. You need a different cable, a micro, and you could, you know, bring along that power bank. Use it to charge your radio and your lantern, which is awesome. So yeah, there it is. Uh, do I have it still on? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Gonna run it down. But I really like the big solar panel. That's the big sale point for me. Okay. And of course the SOS mode, um, they say will run, what was it, 24 hours? That's that's amazing. Let me like get the card again. I uh, didn't think it would be that long. So it's just 24 hours at 100 lumens. That's actually really good. Uh, pretty surprised by that. So... Yeah, so you got the batteries, 1,000 milliamp hour. So it's not a huge battery in there, but it's fine. It, like I say, it's lightweight. This is really nice and lightweight. 200 grams, 7 ounces. You guys who ultra light backpack know that that's not bad at all. It's like as much as like, what, a, a half a can of food or something? Yeah, I mean, that's great. Uh, and you get your light, and then, of course, you just put it in the sunlight. You can hang it from your backpack as you're walking to charge it up. Um, you could also, you know, just have it on the bench, wherever you're at. And of course, this is waterproof, this jack. So, I mean, that's fantastic. Just don't submerse the lantern. Uh, and you saw that, that uh, collapsing and opening it up. 
um, is nice. And you're not going to have any issues with that. I'm just going to leave it close for now, but you get the idea. I'd be using it as a dome light inside of a tent most of the time. And I'd use it uh, opened like more for your, like when you're out eating in a bench and you're trying to light up more of an area light, you'd want to have your 360 lighting. So is it worth the money? Well, it's fairly expensive. Um, you, like I said, you can get some of those siege lanterns for around 30, 35 bucks and they're pretty nice. But the only thing that's great about this is this is collapsible. This is easier to put away, stow away. And of course, this is eco-friendly with the solar panel. Um, so there's that to consider. It, it won't run those longer run times, like those depowered de uh, beasts, but those weigh a lot too. Now you're carrying around D-cell batteries. This one you don't have to. You got your solar power. And of course, you could bring a lightweight power bank. And like I say, you could charge this thing six times with this. So just ideas for you guys. So it gets a maybe recommendation. It just depends on the person and what their needs require. One thing I wish they would uh, change is the switch. I wish we had a manual click switch. Um, I mean, this is nice and quiet at night. Nobody's going to hear a click when you turn it on. Um, it is nice, um, but it's it's inductance. So if you need, if you had a glove on or a little cooler outside and you're wearing some kind of gloves, uh, it probably won't turn on. So something to think about unless you have like fingertip, you know, gloves where fingertips are exposed. Um, I guess if you're using your phone, which you shouldn't be camping, <laughs> uh, you'd be able to use the induction type switch. But that's one thing I'd probably change, but that's me. Uh, otherwise, I like everything about it. Even the strap, this is different. Uh, flexible, uh, that is nice to have. And it's just everything seems well made. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. The Ballot, uh, Ballot, I think it's Ballot, yes. SL1000 Type-C Rechargeable Lantern, Solar Powers, that's big claim to fame. Um, definitely uh, subscribe at the bell icon if you want to know and see more videos and reviews, comparisons on solar-powered lanterns. Um, definitely get more. I do like the fact that, that it's self-contained and it can charge itself. It's like having like one of those outdoor lights, but more portable. <laughs> And of course, three, comment below. We think about the SL1000. Is this something you think you'd like for a camping, uh, maybe emergency kit? Um, tell me what you think. I'd like to know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.